Coffee chat day 24, sit down, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibes. So yeah, I missed an upload yesterday. Well, two days ago for you, because again, recording the way I record these, like yeah, I missed a day, right? So apologies for that. Also, hair is wet, just got out of the shower. Let's see if I can fix this camera. Is that fixed? Because like it was sort of pointing up, like that away. Uh, I kind of like it having like pointing straight or like even slightly down. But you know, like it's whatever. So yeah, let me explain myself for missing a day, right? There's no excuse. There, there was literally no excuse. I had the videos like recording it, recorded and all. I couldn't really record the, uh, the Bible reading. Like, I couldn't record yesterday's one just because I woke up like too late and I looked like shit. And I like to, you know, look presentable on camera, right? Obviously. Uh, excluding today, because normally I'd wait for my hair to dry, but, you know, my mother and all is getting back home from work by five, so I kind of need to record these before that, because I don't want my mother thinking I'm going insane just talking to myself in my room, but, you know, like, it, it is what it is, but yeah, no, yesterday just didn't get around to recording the Bible reading. And I was just too lazy to upload the videos I already had. So, my bad. Uh, we all have off days. So, you know, it's, mm, it's, it's what it is, right? Like, I'm back. I'm back now. I'm ready to keep going. I'm nearly done filling out my habit tracker for the past 30 days. So... The next 30 days are going to be also filled, hopefully. I want to, like, make a little booklet of all the habit trackers so that I can see just how much I've been keeping to it over this year. And maybe even for, like, the next few years. You know, like, that sort of stuff. Almost like a reminder of success, like showing me that, okay, I've done all of this before and I've kept consistent at it, so why not just keep consistent at it? You know, like that sort of stuff. It's all about building up momentum, really. Like life, everything in life. It's all about just building up the momentum to keep doing them and keep doing it continuously over and over. All that sort of stuff, right? I will say I've been smoking a lot more recently though. Which, not too happy about. But, again, is what it is. It's in the past. Can't change it. All I can do is try and change it for the future. And hopefully I will. And I know I will. So, yeah. I mean, it... Essentially, it is what it is. That's what it's all about. I've been trying to change up my perspective on life a lot. Like, really trying to... I suppose just view life through a different sort of lens. Just to like, you know, change things up a little bit. Like change how I see things in my brain. And as of recently, I've been like just trying to, I suppose, like I suppose it's romanticizing life. But, you know, like I've been trying to feel like that sort of, the love that's always present in the world, I suppose. 
And I know that sounds very esoteric and like very out there and almost hippie like, but you know, like it, it's nice. It's nice to view life through that sort of lens and it feels very, it feels very complete in a weird way. Like there's obviously, like I definitely need to learn more. Like I need to be willing to change up my perspective and view life through different lenses so that I can understand more about life. But, you know, like for now, I really like just feeling like this almost sort of subtle love that's just continuously there. Like it's just very nice. It feels very peaceful in a way. Like, there's no real better way to tackle the hostility of the world than with love, I suppose. And again, I know how fucking cheesy and esoteric it sounds, but, like, try it. It's, it's actually kind of nice. So yeah, I'm still taking rest days from the gym just because this this little doohickey right here not feeling it, not feeling the curls. So yeah, and my elbows are not feeling the bench. They are oh, they are on their last leg. Like it is I need to not I need to fight myself from going to the gym again. Like it is oh, it's hard. Not going though. Because that thing, like, th just lifting heavy weights for like an hour keeps me sane. Like, that keeps me going. So, the fact that I don't have that and I need to find another way to keep myself sane that doesn't involve lifting heavy weight, that is just, you're asking too much of me. You're asking too much of me, life. But hey, you know, it. It's what it is. It's what it's. Nest Cafe Gold. Latte, obviously. Very nice. I mean, it, it tastes very dull right now, but maybe that's just because I've already had one. Like... Not too long ago, I woke up at half two. So, you know, like, I, it hasn't been that long since my last coffee. And before anyone says it, I know I need to get on top of my sleep schedule. Don't worry, that's going to be happening over the next week. I want to get back to the 4 a.m. grind, especially for summer. Because I've already said it before, I think, in one of these videos. That waking up at 4 a.m. during the summer is like peak. That is just a peak human experience. Like waking up super early and seeing like the sun shine through the curtains. And it's just like the rest of the world still asleep. But like it's awake at the same time. It's amazing. And like, you know, I remember back when I was 14, I'd wake up during the summer at 4 a.m. And I, I just checked my AFK fish farm in Minecraft, and it was just like, ah, oh, hell yeah, I got mending. You know, like that sort of stuff. Like it was just, those simple sort of joys came with that early waking time. And like, the, like a few of the other times I would wake up like super early, like back when I was 17 during December, uh... I would wake up super early before school, like 4 a.m., and I'd just read a book after, like, you know, I took a shower, did, like, my small little workout to, like, you know, like, the workout I was doing back then was just to sort of get me started, but I remember, like, just reading books and all, and it was just, oh, it was, it was, it was peak, it was good. 
And then even like a few weeks ago, waking up at 4 a.m. and recording these videos. That was awesome. That was sick. I liked that. And like going to bed super early. Again, love that. Like less of a chance to get distracted by worldly things. Because, you know, a lot of the time, like all these sort of distractions come out at night. And if you let yourself stay up too late, then chances are you're going to stay up really late. So it was nice just getting to bed early and not even having to think about it. Then waking up the next day and just getting everything I need to get done. And then just having the rest of the day to just do whatever. And then going to bed super early. Like that was a beautiful like sort of rolling calm like. It was just beautiful, right? It was it was like watching a rock roll downhill and it's like a perfectly spherical rock. Like, you, you get what I mean, right? It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, hell yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, done the coffee. Man, this was a quick one. I obliterated the smoke and I obliterated the coffee. What the? Hmm. So yeah, that's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.